Hey guys, it's Kimber with The Pinning Mama. Welcome to Silhouette Boot Camp. Um, Silhouette Boot Camp is just a weekly lesson that I am doing to kind of really teach you about the Silhouette Studio software, about all the terms and all of the different functions it has so that you can basically really learn how to use it and um, be able to design anything that you can dream up. Um, so if you are looking to join us in Silhouette Bootcamp, um, you can find it on my website. If you are on YouTube, look in the description, or if you're on my website, you can click the landing page right there in the post and see all the lessons we have coming up. Sign up for my email list and you will get each lesson in your inbox and it's pretty awesome. Um, so today is lesson one and we are going to talk about all the file types you can use in Silhouette Studio and also how to make them cut because some of them aren't necessarily as intuitive as they should be. So um, we're going to start out with the file types. You can see over here all of them, um, .studio and .studio3. That is basically the um, sil Silhouette's proprietary file type. That is the file um, that they've created to use within their software um, themselves. Now, that being said, if you go to their library and you download a file, then it's going to be downloaded in um, probably dot or .studio3 um, because that's the most recent version of the software. Dot .studio is just um, what older versions of the software would save in um, save as, and if you have the newest updated version of the software, it will always um, open those, but you cannot open the Studio 3 files if you have the older version of the software. So as long as your software is up to date, you should be able to open both dot .studio and dot .studio 3 files. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you on this is if you make your own design, so say you're creating something and then you're in the middle of it, but you're not ready to cut it yet, or you do cut it, but you know you might want to make another one, or you might want to save it to your own library. If you um, make a design, I've made one, a simple one right here with just a heart and um, some text on it, you can go up to File, Save As, and then um, I'm going to call it All You Need Is Love, and I'm going to save it. And that's going to save it wherever I put that file as all you need is love .studio3. Um, And if I close down my software, I can come back to it another day. I can open it and it'll open up um, this design just like this with the heart, the text, all the cut lines, and you'll just be ready to go and cut it again or to continue to design on it. Um, the next file type we're going to talk about is .dxf. Now that file type is something you may not have heard of before. It is actually a file type um, used in AutoCAD software, um, which is what like engineers and stuff use. But Silhouette Studio also uses this file type. And the awesome thing about the DXF files are that you can use them and open um, cut files without any um, upgrade in the software. So you do not need um, the designer edition or the business edition to open the DXF files. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. You're just going to come up here to File, Open. You're going to find um, that file on your computer, whatever folder it's in, and then you're going to double click um, to open it, and it will come over here into your software. Um, you can see that you have all of these pieces of this design automatically, and they're all ready to cut, and if you go um, to cut it, it may not cut, and that might be because the cut lines aren't turned on. So don't get frustrated and say, oh, they told me this would work. Um, what you need to do is just highlight all of this like this. Um, I just have it on the arrow tool. I pulled it around everything. Alternately, you can click on each piece and hold down the shift key and select it, but I kind of think if you're doing everything on the page, it's easier to just do this, or you can do um, shortcut Command A and it'll select all. So do that, come over here to your cut settings button and turn on the cut lines by clicking this cut right here. If this no cut is on, it's gonna look like this. You'll see there's no red lines. If there's no red lines, nothing is gonna cut. So you're gonna wanna turn on the cut lines, make sure that everything is red. You don't wanna cut edge because then it's not gonna cut any of this middle stuff. It's just gonna cut around the edge of what you have selected. So I always like to select that um, cut right there and then you are ready to send that over to your machine. Now let's go back and talk about the next file type. The next file type on here is SVG. Now SVG um, is one of the more popular file types and that is because you are able to um, find those by a lot of third party designers. So in this, like I said, in this um, design uh, store there are 
thousands and thousands of designs. They have awesome stuff, but you might not find what you want. And if you go searching, say on Etsy or like the Hungry JPEG, they have a lot more um, SVGs that are available that you can open and cut with your um, silhouette without having to trace or do anything special to add cut lines on it. Um, DXF files, you can sometimes find those on um, Etsy and the Hungry JPEG as well. Um, but SVG is probably the most popular type. Now to open an SVG file, you do need the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition. The Designer Edition um, is, uh, I think, $50 retail at the current time, but you can usually get a good sale on it um, and get it around uh, $25 to $30. Check on Amazon for that, and that's um, a really good place to look. Um, so anyways, to open the SVG files, we're just going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go File, Open. And then I'm going to find where I had it. We're going to go SVG. And I can show you that same file. And the cool thing about SVG is it has color embedded in it. Um, and again, if I just go to cut settings, the cut lines might not be turned on. They might or might not see. If I just go to cut, these cut lines aren't turned on, so nothing is cutting. So what I'm going to need to do is, just like we did with the DXF file, is select it, select cut, and you can see that all of those red lines go on. So now I'm ready to send it to my silhouette um, if I don't want to make any changes to it, and it will cut out. So basically, again, for those DXF um, and SVG files, just select it all, hit cut, and um, you're ready to go. Um, Going back to the file types, EPS is our next file type, and that um, is also um, a, a type of file that designers, graphic designers, use quite frequently. It's not all that prevalent, honestly, with um, with the cutting world. So most of the time, you get SVGs. If you do want to open an SV EPS file, you do need the business edition of the Silhouette. Studio software. I don't have that, so I can't show you that today. Um, but it's the same thing as I just showed you on DXF and SVG. You'll just open the file type in your business edition. It'll bring up the thing, um, select it all, and make sure the cut lines are turned on. In EPS, they usually are um, based on the way the file saves, but um, if you have any problems, just make sure those cut lines are turned on. So that wraps up part one where we covered cut ready file types. Um, make sure to tune in to part two because I'm going to talk all about JPEGs and PNGs, um, which are some of the most popular file types on the internet and how you can use them with Silhouette Studio. Thanks guys and see you soon.